Let's talk about the number one area that people come in for that I talk them out of, and I say you don't need it. Huh? That's right. I would actually tell you that you don't need it. Why is that? Well, let's talk first about the anatomy. So, oftentimes we get disturbed because we got dark circles. Okay, that is just skin overlying this empty space. And because the skin is translucent, the light reflects off of it and it's dark, so it looks like a darker color. The same skin right beneath it where there's bone is the one area that we can put a little bit of filler. So this is the difficulty is trying to explain yes here, no here. Yes here, no here. Now, what makes this so challenging is if you Google dark circles, under eye bags, all these things, you'll find all these choices. Uh, lotions, creams, fillers, surgery, threads, it goes on and on and on. And I will say, in all the years I've been doing this, this is the one area that I find to be very misleading. So I'm gonna prove it to you. We're gonna do a role reversal. Let's pretend that I'm you coming in because I have these dark circles. And I'm gonna show you my dark circles with my head tilted downward. And then suddenly I'll raise slightly, better. Huh, wait, and then I'm gonna lift a little bit more toward the light. <gasps> it's gone. Wait, how's that possible? So the question is, which one of those views is true? I'll give you a hint. The light reveals the truth. So that's with your chin up. When we put our chin down and there's a shadow, the darkness reveals our insecurities. So this is the most common area that I call a rip current. What's a rip current? It's when you keep struggling and fighting against something and you can't win. And you exhaust yourselves, you exhaust your money, your resources, your time. And as an advocate, I wanna spare you that discomfort. So moving forward again, what can we do about this? Well, chin up. It's free too. So can I prove this? Yeah, let's look at some celebrities here. So we'll begin. And one of my favorites is Tyra Banks. Now I honor her in this because on the image on the left, that's from her book. She actually showed herself and revealed how she really looks. And then you look to the right and there's supermodel Tyra Banks. She got the makeup, the good lighting. You too can do that with a good photographer, Photoshop, good lighting. Let's try another celebrity. Oh, it's a famous Korean actress. If you look to the right, there's not a blemish on her. It's porcelain. You know why? It's fake. Her face is not that slim. Her skin is not that smooth. That's called Photoshop. So if you look to the left, she's still beautiful, but she definitely has the circles under the eyes. And then let's look at one more. This is my favorite. Sofia Vergara. Hi, papi. Hi, papi. And if you look, she looks beautiful on the right. And oh, hi, papi. Oh my God. Yes, yes, that's true. And when she speaks in the morning, her breath stink too. So does mine. So why do I do this? It's because I want the viewer to understand that the pictures on the right are the Instagram, social media uh, images that make us feel insecure. When we see people that look flawless like this, we have to ask ourselves, what do they really look like? And that's why I'm showing you on the left what they really look like. So we have a choice as well. We can honor ourselves and accept ourselves for what we are. And if we want to look good, we can. Get a photographer, use Photoshop, use Instagram. And I also want to just honor how we are in our daily uh, life. That 
It's okay to walk around and not have makeup on. It's okay to be who you are. And then there are special occasions that we do want to get dolled up, perhaps for an event, going out. So that's okay. But let's not blur those images by thinking, oh my God, everyone else looks so good under the eyes and I look so tired. In fact, I'll even challenge people. What makes you think that you look tired? The next time somebody asks you, oh my gosh, are you tired? Don't assume that it's from your tear drops. Ask them. Maybe it's your body language. Uh, maybe it's your voice. So what I'm trying to get at is updating the software that sometimes the hardware here is totally fine. But if we keep thinking something is wrong, eventually we are going to believe something's wrong. And the tear trough is the number one area that changes every day. If you wake up tomorrow, I guarantee it's going to look different than today. Why? Well, uh, sleep, stress, salt retention. There's so many things that affect this that even if you do nothing, it's going to look different tomorrow. So let me show you what could happen if you get something done in the tear trough and you didn't need it. Huh? That's me. I actually put filler under my right eye on purpose to discourage people from doing this. So in the downward position, it looked like I had needed something. I put the filler in there. I lifted my chin up and it's like, whoa, there's a festoon. What did I do about it? Well, I dissolved it. So thankfully with these hyaluronic acid fillers, we have something called vitrase or hyaluronidase, which works very well within four hours to dissolve that. So thankfully, there is a reversal agent and I think it's better don't get into that predicament in the first place. So this is the number one area that I caution people that leave it alone, put your chin up, you'll be fine. Now, eventually sometimes people say, well, what about surgery? Should I get eyelid surgery? Well, the answer is if we all live long enough, we will all need it. Why? Gravity. By the time we get white hair and our vision starts to change, our lids do come down. And when it starts to impair your function, then that may be the time to do it. And it's usually covered by insurance if it impairs your function. So who do you go to? This is so important. I'm going to show you the slide. This is Renee Zellweger. Notice how different she looks after her eyelid surgery. So what happened here? Well, she went to the best plastic surgeon and forgot to ask that surgeon, what are you the best at? So always ask your provider, what is the one thing that you do most? And if it happens to be the eyes, you're in the right place. But if they're also doing breast implants on the side or another procedure, you're in the wrong place. So in this life, less is more. Make sure that whoever is taking care of you um, is credentialed, experienced, and does that the most. There is no one person that can do it all. And I'll be the first to tell you, I am the worst surgeon in Hawaii. Why? Because I don't do surgery. So stay tuned. Aloha.